Rich Side K9 coming to you from the training floor. It's late. It's late. Been here all day. Got up at 5.45. It's about 8 o'clock at night. Problem is this. We got a lot of dogs on deck, man, that are unfortunately a me situation until the dogs can get under control because I can't get a trainer chewed up. So, we have a Malawala that got dropped off today. You're going to see her in a minute. She came with a full agitation muzzle on. The dog has multiple bites. The dog has bitten. The dog will bite. The dog has muzzle punched. Everybody she was around today, but I got to get the muzzle off. Do not drop pet dogs off with an agitation muzzle on. Put them in an open basket muzzle. Agitation muzzles reduce airflow. They can't drink, they can't eat. There's a lot of problems with them, right? They have one purpose. Sitting in an agitation muzzle all day is not the intent of an agitation muzzle. If a dog needs to have a muzzle on for safety, put it in an open basket muzzle. They can drink water, they can breathe, they can do all this good stuff, right? Anyway, it's a very nervy Malawa, okay? She's a little neurotic, a little nervy, has bites, has attacked, has learned that people will push away if she shows pressure on her end, right? She's never really had a correction. She came with a pinch collar. We got that off while the muzzle was still on. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put her on two lines, short slip lead, long slip lead. Pinch collar's already off. I'm gonna have a bite suit on. I gotta get this dog muzzle off. She can't sleep 24 hours with agitation muzzle. She may, not good. We're gonna bring her in. She ain't gonna be happy. Um, we're gonna see what happens. Put a full bite suit on, protection, work through this. And here we go, our little miss misunderstood Malawa. So this is the fifth rep of the day, guys. Please keep that in mind. When you get a new dog on deck, don't make the first rep where safety equipment comes off, right? Condition the dog, devalue your presence as much as possible prior to safety equipment coming off. But at some point, this agitation muzzle has to come off the dog, okay? So again, fifth rep, she's much more relaxed. I do not show the crazy videos anymore of dogs launching, muzzle punching, trying to bite, acting a fool, crocodile rolling, all the stuff she did in the beginning, the first rep, the second rep, kind of dissipated in the third rep, pretty solid and calm in the fourth rep like she is now, and now we're on the fifth rep. Now, she's very unsure, very nervous, very unstable dog. She's a 100% fear biter. The problem is she does bite 100% of the time. Right here, I'm using the extension stick, a touch stick, just to simply let her know it's an extension of my arm. She doesn't really know it's the touch stick touching her. I want her to know when I'm close to her, I can touch her all over, start to decondition the stimulus of my presence by giving her a lot of tactile reinforcement up close. You can see right now in, in, in her mode, right? She doesn't care. She's straight up, I don't care about you. This dog is 100% muzzle conditioned. She stays in a muzzle often, sometimes multiple times a day. She's also 100% muzzle wise. She knows when the muzzle's on and when the muzzle's off. So here we go. Pop the strap, release the clip, pop the muzzle. Real dog training. Here we go. 